Hello, welcome to another video. I have a Diet Coke, obviously. I probably have a Diet Coke every single day. And I know, it's probably really not good for you. But I don't drink alcohol, so I let myself have this. Um, I have already been for a nice walk today. I've been out of the house. Um, I live in Scotland and we have just been told to stay at home as much as possible. The actual advice is stay at home more than you normally would. I have agoraphobia, so I don't know. That probably means never ever leave the house. I think they just mean, you know, limit who you see and try not to get COVID or give anyone COVID. It's basically the rule. So I, this weekend, had a really nice weekend planned. I was going to see my friends. I had a nice workshop I was gonna to go to, all that kind of stuff. And I've decided between now and Christmas day, which is a week away, I will probably not see anybody except the people I'm gonna be spending Christmas with anyway. So, slightly different than I thought it would be. Uh, this is the first Christmas in our flat and we have our lovely Christmas tree up here. We have a second Christmas tree in the dining room. Dining room, that feels very fancy to say. So, I don't really have much to do. Uh, I'm doing some work tomorrow and I've got a few days of probably working before Christmas. Um, except for that, there's not really much we can do except try and do what we did in lockdown, which is I've been trying to go for a walk every day all that kind of stuff. I know this is already a really hard time of the year, Christmas, and I used to really get so anxious at Christmas and I think the main reason was because at Christmas everything changes, everyone stops working for a bit, shops shut, like things are just so different and I don't like change, but I think because of the lockdowns and all that kind of stuff, I'm not as anxious about that anymore. Um, still kind of feel a bit like it's just too much I think but on top of a lockdown this is just a tricky old time and I am not surprised by if you are feeling you know anxious or anything like that I don't blame you and that's totally okay even if you're feeling really like oh god this feels horrible because it does um you know that's okay I don't you're not going to feel like that forever and um that's all I'm going to say on the anxiety stuff at the moment because I want this video to hopefully be a bit of uh, an inspiration for you to maybe read or uh, just to not think about all the stuff going on just now. Um, I am very very cold, I need to put the heating on. Anyway, it's about 3 o'clock and so I thought why not today do some form of reading as much as I can for the next 24 hours because I am on like 24 books read of the year and obviously the year ends soon and I really want to read 30 books. That is, has been my goal of this year is to read 30 books. So I'm not there yet and I thought today why don't I try and read as much as possible so that I can get to my goal quicker and hopefully reach it. Um, and I thought today I would read a Christmas book. I have a Christmas book, let me go and get it. I am going to try and read this book, which is Last Christmas. You might ask me, who is it by? It's by everyone. It's literally by everyone. Greg Wise and Emma Thompson curated and introduced this book. Um, but it's got Graham Norton, Stephen Fry, Meryl Streep, Olivia Coleman, mwah, Bill Bailey, Amelia Clark, Caitlin Moran, people who have been homeless, political refugees and many others. So I bought this book last year, didn't end up reading it, and I believe They've written their personal memories of past Christmases and hopes for the future ones. Um, a collection of remarkable stories which remind us all, which remind us that we are all essentially the same. No matter who we are or where we find ourselves, we share the same dreams, we have the same desires. We want even more than traditional presents, the giving and receiving of care and hope and love. And I thought that just sounded kind of nice. This might be, sound like a bit boring to some of you, but I don't know why, I just, I'm probably just really interested in how we are all the same 
I just find that really interesting. So I'm going to read this book at some point. Um, but what I'm going to do first is my flat needs a clean. Like every single day, it always needs cleaned. I'm sure you're the same with your life. Um, so I'm going to listen to some of the book I've been listening to, which is Sister Sister by Candice Brathwaite. Um, and I'm sure I've read one of her books before. Has she done another book? I'm not sure. Candice Brathwaite. I don't know. I'm going to be listening to some of Sister Sister by Candice Brathwaite while I do some cleaning. Um, I think I only have like a few hours left of this audiobook, so I might get it done today. Don't know. But I just want to relax. I want you to hopefully relax watching this video and us just not think too much about what's going on externally and just focus on reading and being cozy. Um, so I'm gonna drink some Diet Coke, do some cleaning and listen to Sister Sister. I'm actually scared, Drew. Hold well, on, say A is to go. A? Oh, a. God. <laughs> is it better to wiggle from left to right or to just go straight forward? Uh, I don't know. I guess I'd do uh, a habit. Oh, who's left fucking banana peels all about the place? <laughs> It's fucking what it is! Oh, who's giving me a bloody ghost? Oh, it's not simple. Is it three rounds? Oh, I hate when they do this and I'm so tiny! I just items as well, Lord above. Oh yeah, you lose your items, don't you? R2 is to jump and slide. This one here. I, I'm not going to be able to look at you, Drew, I'm sorry. Third? Oh, for friggin' frock! <laughs> oh, man! Come on, Ems. Drew, I'm <laughs> Oh, I love this bit, though. Oh, I'm officially last. Or oh, I'm seventh! Hello, guys. I haven't spoke in a little while. It is... Oh, my God, it's seven o'clock. Who knew? I had my dinner, and me and Drew just got a really exciting delivery. Um, through his work, he can get, like, a... Uh, payment plans for like um different things as like a benefit or something i don't know um and we just got a package of an alexa and a nintendo switch so we've been having fun uh, setting that up i've always wanted an alexa well actually they kind of creep me out but we have one now and i better watch what i say because she's listening it's kind of scary but i just like being able to play whatever music um and the switch is fun. I'm not really 
a game person, but uh, there is Mario Kart, which I do love. Um, so I've not done all that much reading. I have list been listening to Sister Sister, which I love. I just think um, I'm listening to it, obviously, um, and Candice is the and Candice is the person that has read the audiobook aloud, and it's absolutely amazing. And um, there's like different chapters on different um, things that she has learned throughout her life. Um, and it's just lovely to listen to and learn about her experiences and she gives tips on like manifestation and stuff like that and um, but also talks a lot about her experiences of colorism and racism um, and loads of different things and some things that I never even thought about before I never thought how difficult that could be or I've never seen um, specific situations like that happen in front of me um, so her describing different things, different scenarios that she's been through really made me think about, really just helped me understand a bit more about, um, particularly about colorism and um, her being a dark skinned black woman and what that's meant for her and how it's been difficult in some areas of her life. Um, and yeah, it's been really interesting. Um, and I just really like the way she speaks. I think she's a very good writer. Um, so I have, I think about an hour or maybe under an hour left of that book. So I'll maybe listen to a bit more of that at some other point, maybe tomorrow or maybe later on tonight. Um, but I'm going to get to actually reading now. Um, so I'm going to get to reading Last Christmas. My plan is to read as much as I can in this comfy armchair, which is something that we've only just gotten in this new flat. Um, I've not read in it yet, so this feels very nice and cosy. Um, and then when I'm fed up and reading out here, I'm going to take it into the bath. tired I don't know what time it is it's about like almost one I think um I've not read a whole lot down to the fact that we got a switch and it's me and Drew just played games for a really long time I also realized that I have a book in my bed that I've been reading Wild by Cheryl Strayed and I'm only about 30 pages away from finishing this so I think for the rest of the night I'm just going to focus on trying to read the rest of this um, and then pick up last Christmas tomorrow again. Um, I'm on page 33 of last Christmas and I'm actually really enjoying it so far. It's just like people's different um, memories of Christmas and stuff like that. And there is some really sad situations in there, but the ones I've read so far have a happy ending. So that's been nice. And it has been making me feel like I would like to give um, some form of charity this year because it's just one of those things that you think about but sometimes forget to do but um I'm definitely going to do that tomorrow at some point and if you are in the financial situation to be able to do something or even put one can in a food bank then that's a really great thing to do and um, there's lots of people that could do with a little bit of help and you know the government doesn't always help so it's nice that we can do something i don't know i'm really tired um so i'm gonna finish reading wild and then i only have three books left till i hit my goal of 30. night good morning i am as tired as i look today i am really sleepy. I didn't get to bed till pretty late last night and I woke up pretty early this morning and I'm feeling a little bit achy and sleepy and I've been reading most of the morning. So I have 
I Finished Wild by Cheryl Strayed. I'd probably give this book about a four out of five. It's hard to say when you've just finished reading something how you truly felt about it, but there was a lot of really amazing moments in here. A lot of like, even though I will never do anything, like the trail that she did. Um, I often think of difficult things in my life in the same way that she thought about hiking the Pacific Crest Trail. Don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, and yeah, I just found a lot of it. I, I also started reading this just before I moved house. Um, and so it was just a really good book to read at that time when I was doing a very big adventure. So, um, and it was also a really nice ending um, and lovely friendships and what she had learned about herself. There was just so much in this that was really good. Um, so that is finished. I have been reading more of Last Christmas. I'm on page 53 at the moment. We've just read Amelia Clark, who was Game of Thrones and she was also in, what was it? The story about when she was looking after a man, what was it called? I can't remember, but she, you, me before you, me before you, that was it. Um, so yeah, it's just lots of lovely stories, some of them a bit sad. Amelia Clark's was probably the closest story to what I would think about with my Christmases. Oh, what well, magpie. It is 12 o'clock, so I have three more hours of reading, hopefully solidly, although I am kind of worried that I might fall asleep at some point. But, oh, the next story after this one is Graham Norton. Oh, it's Emma Thompson, then Graham Norton. I love Graham Norton. So there we go. I have officially finished reading and <coughs> um, I'm probably going to carry on reading a little bit more today to be honest. Um, I got to about halfway through this book so about 120, page 119. Um, I'm still really enjoying this book. I think it's a really nice book to read at Christmas obviously but I think it's just a really nice read. Um, a lot of books at this time of year are quite like you know cringe or just like overly happy kind of books and this isn't overly not happy this is actually really lovely but it's just hearing lots of different people's experiences and like they've said in the book it's just kind of trying to show that we're all the same deep down we all have the same uh, or roughly the same wishes and roughly the same um, experiences and wanting the same things um, and you know yeah it's just really nice um, so this has been a really relaxed reading vlog. Um, I finished Wild. I only have an hour left of Sister Sister so I'll definitely get that done before the end of the year I think and last Christmas I'm about halfway through so I reckon I'll also finish that hopefully before Christmas which is in a few days. Um, and yeah I hope that you're doing okay. Uh, I'm not going to mention too much about the news but it's obviously a little bit tricky at the moment so I hope that you're doing everything you can to just um, be and um, yeah I really hope that you're doing okay and that your Christmas is uh, as good as it can be right now and just remember to put yourself first um, when these times are really tricky um, and thank you for watching I'm very tired I'm going to go and probably play on the switch.